ask you about this? Yes, good morning. I was uh, calling about something I had uh, faxed over to your office last week about a matter where I have a letter stating your office laid me on a situation I'm dealing with. Okay. I'm just wondering if you could or or react on that. Because I was, uh, it, was, it was instructed to me in, in a letter by your offices that uh, y'all would be able to aid in helping me get a fair hearing. Well, I, I have a U.S. court case opening about the same matter. I, opened, I reached out to your office. Or I'm wondering why I'd be able to get a fair hearing on that. Can I have your name, sir, to check to see if the facts came in? Hold on a second. Yes. Sir, I was told the fax is uh, going to the Anchorage office, and you need to call the Anchorage office to follow up on it. We um, we you haven't mean, you mean the received the fact. That, you mean the offices that have been treating me horribly this whole endeavor, ma'am? Are you sure you're going to contact them? You're being taped. I am taping this call. So you're reverting me back to an office where they were very rude with me and in a state where I'm having problems with members and state officials. And you, you want me to trust someone inside this statement when they committed felonies <laughs> against my wife and they're not doing <laughs> about that either, and we, and, you know, a baby was lost behind those felonies. Mr. Yeah. Mace, I looked up your file, and Anchorage is the, has the constituent director who can help you. Unfortunately, there's no one in our and D.C. office who can help you. And who's going to be helping me? Uh, the Sherry Edwards will help you in the D.C. office. You mean the lady who uh, discriminated on my disabilities? I have that all case, ma'am. Is that who I'm, you're telling me is going to help me, the lady that was rude and discriminatory against me? Is that who sir, I'm a staff assistant. Is that, can, I speak, can I speak to somebody else that will get their job done and not be rude and discriminate on my disabilities? You yes, sir. Well, hold one second. Yes. How can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. I'm wondering why I keep in being referred back to a person in your offices in Alaska who uh, discriminated against my disabilities and treated me very rudely in the past. And y'all want, yes, want me to reach out to them to help after what they're at the party of this state. Treating someone from your office, or the person in your office are asking me to contact in Alaska, did violate federal laws on how they treated a disabled person. You're asking me to contact him back. Am I going to be assured of fairness in this situation like I was wrote in the letter? So, sir, I, I can guarantee we would do the best to help out, but with, with criminal cases, it's hard for our office really? to really get involved. Well, what's the best to help out, sir? Um, y'all are saying that by, by y'all going to help out, y'all are, y'all are okay, and y'all have allowed basically all needs to be done to my pregnant woman, to my wife when she was pregnant. And she lost her baby behind it and then had another felony committed against her after she lost the baby, all because of something I'm trying to take care of. And y'all are saying you're going to do your best about it? So you're saying you condone the acts done to a pregnant woman and the, causing the loss of their child? Is that what you're telling me? Sir, sir, no. I'm absolutely not. Um, yeah, I really saying, don't know well, about your case or about what's I'm, going I'm, on. I'm so I, I'm, you, I'm telling you, sir, that... Uh, <coughs> That this state over here in Alaska, they don't care about people who murder children because they're letting the assailant walk free. So, you know, and it's all, it all stems and roots from uh, what I had contacted your offices about back in November, saying, asking for aid and protection, which I was guaranteed. But uh, we're sitting here with a lost child because of no aid or no, no protection under the law. So, and then nobody in the state, even the, even the judges in the courthouse, don't know how to do their jobs. So is that 
is that what I'm hearing here? That uh, the United States Senator Lee Murkowski's office condones the murder of unborn children, which is a violation of Alaska statutes, and also condones felonies being committed against the pregnant woman, almost putting them to their life at risk. Because, uh, you know, that's what that's what my social media blog is going to say if I don't get some action done to help me and my family. Sir, sir I'm, I'm not. I'm absolutely not saying that. You know, I'm well, looking I'm for your case. That. I know that you originally contacted us back in 2015. It doesn't matter, sir. Let me see. My wife got pregnant. Then I had to deal with her getting neglectful medical care. So that was a real big handful when nobody would do nothing. So I had to make sure I you got something I took care of, you know. So excuse me for having to deal with things and do other people's jobs for them and try to keep my wife alive after we lost the baby. I'm sorry it took me so long to respond back, but I did reach out to your office. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I I'm, I'm seeing that you did, sir. I'm, I did I'm, I'm agreeing you. with you that well, you I'm have. Saying, I did reach out to your office before all those things happened to, to, prevent, to prevent that from happening, and guess what? Y'all didn't do anything. So your office would be then liable what happened to my wife. If you really sir, our, that, our office is not liable. Yeah, are, sir, we're, we've had, been trying let me see. Do I have knowledge of the situation? Sir, I'm willing to listen to you. I'm willing to try to you're help you out, but you can't my, keep cutting me off. You're not listening by cutting me off, sir. I am listening to you, sir. So to, you to have a conversation, off. both sides need to be able to speak. Well, you can't you just me. keep yelling at me, telling me stuff I'm not sir, doing. You're, you're, you just now accused me of something. You know what slander is? I'm not yelling. Sir, Sir, I'm not sir, yelling. I'm trying to help you out. But you I'm not slandering you. Me. I'm not doing uh, anything. But if you are not going to allow us to help you, there's nothing we can do. You just accused me of yelling, sir. You know you're being taped, right? No, That's I'm perfectly fine, me. sir. I'm yeah. trying to do everything I can to possibly help you. I'm not making false accusations about And it's you. also illegal to record a call without informing the person at the beginning of the conversation that you are recording the call by federal law. Actually, not in my state, it's not, sir. One party recording law, meaning I'm continuing to recording myself, and there's nothing you can say about it. Let you read the law of Alaska. Um, and because it's part of my mental disability to document everything so people don't take advantage of me as you're trying to do so, sir, because you seem like you're getting aggravated with me, this only covers myself, so you can't sit there and misconstrue my actions or anything to other people as well. So it's also called the documentation. So if you have a problem with that, that's called discrimination of something related or stem from my disability. So do you have a problem with me recording this call, sir? I never said I did. I just said at the beginning of the phone call, you have to at least allow the person to know that. I don't have to let them know anything that's pertaining to my disability, sir. Sir, Alaska law prohibits the use of electronic devices or hearing or record record private conversations without the consent of at least one party of the I conversation. I am the one party. I am the one party. Alaska, I am the one party. I am, <laughs> I am the one that's recording it. I have to say that it's allowed. It doesn't matter. It's, it does, it says that you don't have to say anything. It says all I have to do is can be consensual to it. And since I have a witness over here also, you know, knowing of the taping, then you, your word has no merit, sir. So please um, don't try to argue sir? laws with me. How about you put me on with your senator, and I'll tell her that I'm about to go public with this stuff, because I'm getting a little fed up on how you're trying to uh, strong arm me right now, sir. Well, sir, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you. Well, I'm not trying, trying to strong arm you. I'm not breaking any law. If you just you know. keep, if you just want to keep arguing with me and not allow us to help you, then we, we cannot be on the phone well, all day, sir. I'm trying everything possible to help you. You were sitting there arguing a law, and you're not reading. Black and white says you're trying to find a gray area when law is black and white, sir. So, you know, sir, I don't understand how you're trying to help I me. I try to help you as involved. much as possible. We cannot get involved in criminal cases. Our Anchorage office has contacted you. Our Juno office has contacted you. We've tried to help you out. No, sir, you have not. I'm sorry that you have you had things that have gone on in your life that you've not been able to your office continue has to with this Wait case. Your office was aware of what was going on, what I was dealing with, and they didn't know either. So they were, your office has been aware this whole time what happened to my wife, and y'all are not, y'all are allowing it to happen. So guess what? That's called aiding and abetting. You're saying your office is condone the murder of unborn children, which is a violation of Alaska statute. And it's also putting up. Sir, we, we did not kill anybody. We did not well, y'all, y'all condone, condone killing anybody. Killing anybody. No, wait a minute. And I'm not now you that. are I'm now not, you're making threats no, on us, sir. I didn't make a threat. I said y'all, you're you threatening to go public. That is a threat. Oh, what is a threat? Saying that your office had knowledge of what happened to my wife the whole time.
time and did nothing about sure. it. I, I try ahead. to help you go as ahead. much as possible, go and you just want to get on the phone and argue with me. There's nothing else we can do is, for you, sir. I hope you have a great day. The problem is you're getting angry and you.